This video is brought to you by Draeger's Classics. I'm Jerry Drager, Drager's International Classic Sales in Seattle, Washington. We're here at Drager's Clubhouse where I'd like to show you this beautiful 1949 Chevy five window pickup. It's a custom, it's got a S10 clip on the front so it's got power steering and power disc brakes on the front. It's got a 350 Chevy in it with a uh, 350 turbo automatic. It's got vintage air on it. And, and I mean, it's got all the good stuff and it just runs great. I just got it back uh, from Joe at Old School Garage that did the service and safety check on it. And also uh, he had his man uh, put a new uh, interior in it. The interior was in it, didn't match. So uh, now it's got a nicer interior and it matches the rest of the truck. And you can see the wood bed is in there and 
Uh, you could dress it up with putting chrome strips on there and even uh, re-varnishing uh, the wood. This thing, you'll, you know, you'll find a few spots here and there on it uh, where, because it's got 23,000 miles on it since it was built in St. George, and then it went to Idaho. Uh, this truck did not have wipers on it. It still doesn't have wiper arms on it, but it didn't even have a wiper motor, so uh, Joe installed a new 12-volt uh, wiper motor on it, so the wipers will work, but you can just tell it's never been driven in the rain because it's never had wipers on it. So I gotta tell you, it's just a, it's a beautiful truck. The chrome's real nice on it. Yes, you'll find some rock chips here in places uh, that you'll see, but boy, the chrome grill is beautiful. The chrome bumper is really nice. I, it, and, it, and it just has a beautiful uh, stance to it, the way it sets and looks and drives. And of course, it's got, uh, you know, the doors are uh, shaved, so we have a remote uh, control button on here so we can open it up. And there's that brand new interior. God, doesn't that look beautiful? I mean, they did the whole thing everywhere. I mean, it just, it just, you know, the dash was already painted silver and everything, so it, it matched uh, with everything. They put the, uh, the, uh, even put a real nice heavy-duty pad in here. I like the way they finished this here. Sorry about jerking that. Back in here, they finished this all off nice and everything. And of course, these are the power windows, so you can see that window going up over there. And it, you know the door panels are all nice. Now when they when they put this in, this thing had carpet down here on this uh, piece here. But with these new in, new pieces in here, it's tight. So they they had to take the carpet off for it to fit. And let's see how this thing runs and sounds. Good, you know, it, it 
just a beautiful truck. I haven't played with this radio. I know it works, but I... Again, I haven't played with it. And you can see that we got the wipers right here. And it's a 12 volt electric motor on there. But hopefully you're not gonna drive this in the rain. So I just wanna show you. You can see that these are working right now. Also, to open the, this button right here will open the left door. I'll turn those off. Oh, two speed too. And we put poppers in the when I got this truck, the doors wouldn't open very good. So we installed the poppers right here. And you can see the dash, the uh, dome light even works. So, I mean, it's a nice truck. We're gonna put it up on the hoist so we can show you the underside. And I just wanna show you, both doors close like this. I mean, they just close beautifully. So here we are, Andrew's getting the getting it underneath there so we can get it up in the air. The underside of the 49 Chev pickup, it's got marker lights, little ones on the, each side of the frame sticking out so you get side protection that way. It has a trailer hitch on here. It is not designed for a 10,000 pound pull, but you can pull a pretty good sized trailer and you lift this up to put the, your hitch in there. And again, you got the big exhaust system underneath here. It's got uh, uh, helper uh, springs on it. We have this 12 volt uh, rear end in here. So, I mean, this truck was really put together really well. And, and again, the frame, there's no rust showing anywhere. In fact, I don't think there's any rust in this truck anywhere uh, that I've seen or has been repaired. This all looks good all through here. Cab corners. Maybe you can come over here a little bit and see these cab corners a little bit. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, and here this is on the driver's side. This is a pole for opening the door. I had to, uh, Joe put that in so it would be easy to get in and say the battery goes dead. This is the gas tank that's underneath the uh, bed and you fill it from the side. And of course we got this big MagnaFlow uh, muffler on here with this big exhaust system on here. And you can see the floor pans up there. They're all real good. All this frame and everything is good. It's good and solid. This cab corner over here looks real good. You know, now maybe there was some work done on this thing, but it doesn't show like pa patches anywhere. All these uh, floor pans look real good. It's got electric fuel pump right back up in here in the frame. And again, this is where they started putting this, uh, uh, this is part of the front end on here on this S10 front end. And of course, this is the bottom of the uh, 350 uh, turbo automatic transmission. We have power brakes on here, power disc brakes on the front, drums on the rear. And again, it's all good and solid. This thing looks really, really good. And I like, I like what they did here. They, they put heat shielding on the exhaust here on both sides. And uh, even on the starter here, they, they've wrapped it, so it's insulated. And again, this is the bottom of the 350 engine. And I look up in here, I mean, everything looks uh, really good to me. I don't know if that's new sheet metal on the floor pan. They might have put it in there. Of course, they've uh, reser they refaced that uh, uh, on the firewall. You'll see the, you'll see the uh, firewall's got a covering over it. It all looks good. I mean, they, they put it all in and uh, did some nice nice work on this thing. So it all looks really good. Here's the bottom of the, his cooling fan and the aluminum radiator in here. There's another cooling deal. There was a trans cooler back that way. So this thing's really set up to drive well. I'm Andrew Drager, and if you have any questions about this vehicle, please don't hesitate to call or email us. I'm Jerry Drager, and we're a father-son team, and we hope you enjoyed the video. 
and uh, understand that we really try really hard to go over the vehicle with this video to show you everything. Doesn't mean that I get every single spot or anything else, but I try and Andrew and I both work really hard to make sure the vehicles are in top shape before they leave here. You got any questions, always give us a call or email us. We'd be more than happy to talk to you. We really invite you to come see them. And if you can't, you should have them inspected. I think it's really important to make sure you understand what you're buying.